the purposes of this video is to show how we can uh, flood a DEM just based on a certain uh, water level uh, relative to the sea level. So we'll start with a blank uh, project and first need to locate Benin. So we can use the quick map services. You can install it from plugins, manage and install plugins. And there you look for quick map services. After installing, you can find it under the web menu. And if you don't have a long list like this, you go to settings, more services, and you get the contributed pack. And now we use the OpenStreetMap as a background. It's OSM, OSM standard. To see a map of the world, and we zoom into Benin. We're interested only in the southern part near Cotonou. There it is. And what we do now is change our projection to the local one. So we enable on the fly reprojection and we choose UTM zone 31 north. And now our project is reprojected. The next step is to download the SRTM digital elevation model. Therefore, you need to SRTM Downloader plugin. You can also find it in the plugins menu. Note that to install plugins you always need a working internet connection. Install the SRTM Downloader. And then you get this button. And you can say set to canvas extent to download the elevation data that exists in the area that we're zoomed into. It's always wise to make a local copy, so we save it to a folder. Make a new folder. Make sure you don't use um, spaces but underscores. Flood continue. And then the data will be stored there. Click download. And then it has downloaded the DEM. We need to do a bit about visualization. So never trust the standard legend that is displayed by GIS software. Always go to properties, style, in this case, we use single band pseudo color, and the minimum and maximum that are estimated are not right. So, what we do is we choose the min max and we use the actual values. If I do load, we'll see it goes from minus 13 to 175 meters. But in fact, we are only interested in the lower part. So, what I do is clip to canvas and then I click load again. And I see it goes to from minus 13 to 80 meters. We need to choose a color ramp. Choose a new color ramp. Go to CPT City. And choose topography, elevation. Okay. And then it's automatically added, and that's uh, sufficient for now. Here we see the elevation. Now, similarly, we are if we are only interested in the lower part of the catchment around Cotonou, we can also style it. And let's focus in this exercise to that. Um, we load only the minimum maximum to this part of the image, which goes from minus 1 to 10 meters. There it is. And then we see much more contrast in the urbanized area. Urbanized because this is the open street map and it gives us the streets but also the building footprints which will be uh, useful later. I will show that later. Go back to this whole area. We have the DEM. So, what we can do now is from the DEM derive the flood maps. So, we'll use the raster calculator and we simply do the DEM, that's this layer, less than one meter, give that one 
which is true, and for the rest of the map give zero, which is false. And then I save it to our new folder and give it a nice name uh, flood less than one. It's always good to add .tiff because it's a TIFF file. And we do OK. And there it is. It doesn't look nice yet because we need to do some styling. Never trust the legend. So we go to properties and we go to single band pseudo color. We only have two values, so I just use the plus button, and there's zero, and there's one. Zero is not flooded, and the one is flooded. And let's make this one uh, blue, so it looks a bit like water. And do OK, so everything blood blue is flooded during uh, one meter above sea level, water level, and the rest is not flooded. Now to make the rest transparent, we go to properties, transparency, and we type here zero, and now the zero values will be transparent, and we'll see the elevation model through it. So everything in blue is flooded, and the rest is elevation model. Or we can even project it here on the map, and we can see that one meter, we flood these parts of the city. Well, we can uh, do the same, but then for 2 meters, so let me repeat that. Raster calculator. Input is a DM. Less than 2 meters. And then go to Z. Flood continue. I call this one flood less than 2. Dot tiff. Save. And then I run it. And we can copy this legend, clicking right, styles, copy style, and then I paste it, styles, paste style, and we make the zero transparent, it doesn't copy that, so we have to type here again the zero, do OK, and now we can see the difference, this is one meter, and this is two meter, so we see quite an increase in area that is flooded. Um, we can uh, visualize this, and let's uh, zoom in a bit. Uh, we go to the plugins and we install QGIS 3JS, that is the plugin to have these 3D views. When I click here on this button which then appears, we can first indicate the DEM. Always make sure you have the DEM layer here, which is this N06 style. Increase the resolution to get very nice results. And we increase here also the resolution to 400%. Because the area is quite flat, it's very important to exaggerate, so let's put it on 10. And when I click Run, it will calculate the 3D view, which will open in a browser. It's a very nice thing because you can use it offline, you can take it with you, the files if you want to demo to other people and you don't have internet at hand. Here we see the area again, and we see the parts that are uh, flooded. And what we can also do is put the DEM in the background. Here it is. So with blue still the flooded parts, we can uh, repeat the visualization. And there it is. And then you can see that the blue parts are really in the depressions. Um, now, we saw these uh, building 
footprints here on the map. And the nice thing compared to Google Maps is that these are real vectors, so we can use them. And we know that it's not complete, but let's say we are interested in, uh, in a certain area. And we can uh, see what the effect is of uh, flooding. So let's uh, focus on the area here on the north. Let's remove the flood maps. And let's download the building footprints. We see that there are already buildings uh, built in the water. And therefore we need another plugin. It's called the Quick OSM plugin. Quick OSM plugin. With that one we can do queries from the OSM dataset and download what we need. So in our case building footprints, but you could also get all the water related uh, vectors the roads etc so you will get this button when I click there I can choose here a key value from OpenStreetMap in our case it will be a building and the value should be yes so we get all the buildings and I use it only in the extent of the map so I run the polygons of this area and there it is so let's make them a bit uh, different color. Let's use uh, red. Okay. And so what we have is the building footprints. What I also would like to have is this flood extent as a polygon. So I'm going to export this one to a polygon. You do it by raster, conversion, polygonize. and choose the right folder and I call it flood to meters dot shp and there we go okay okay close now this one exported everything, so also the zero value. So what we need to do in the attribute table, we first uh, select all the ones. So I go here to field and values, dn, that's the name of the column. So if I double click, equals type one, do select. Now we have all the flood areas selected. I go to editing mode, I invert the selection and I'm going to remove everything what is not flooded from this. And there it is. So we now only have the flooded part. And I'm also going to change this value to 2. So we know it's 2 meters. So we can put it on top of the DM at the 2 meter level. The absolute height. So DN equals 2. Update all. Now it's 2 meters. I save it. And there it is. And let's make it blue. And let's now see how this will look in 2.5D when we have the building footprints. So I select the buildings to be plotted. And these buildings, let's give them a fixed value above the DEM. Let's assume that they are 5 meters high. And also the floods, but the flood we give them a value based on the dn, which is 2 meters. We multiply by 1. And that's relative to the dm, or the absolute value. In our case it is absolute value. And then I click Run.
So here we can see the flooded zones in the depressions. So we can use uh, the layer with the inundation also to calculate the flood area. And if we know the elevation of the surface, we can also calculate the volume of water that is needed to flood the area. So we have the DEM, which is the surface area. We intersect with a certain uh, level of flooding that creates area. So we know the elevation difference and the area that will give us the volume. 